The most profitable time of the year for producers is coming up, and ironically, none of them take advantage of it. So let's go over how you can make buku bucks with a Black Friday and Christmas sales campaign. And by the way, I'll be going live next week on Friday at 10 a.m. Eastern to build a whole Black Friday email sales campaign, so don't miss out. This is gonna be completely free, so if you wanna get notified about that live stream, go ahead, click the link below in the description, enter your email, and we'll email you when we go live. Plus, for those producers who sign up, I'm gonna send some extra bonuses. So really, it's not just Black Friday or Christmas. Most producers never run any sort of sales campaign anytime throughout the year. And I get it, you may not wanna seem spammy, but if you do this correctly, a sales campaign isn't really spammy. And I'll break down more of what I actually mean by that later on, so stick around. But really, the biggest problem here is that most producers never use email marketing in general. And email marketing is where all this money from sales campaigns comes from. Sure, you can post on Instagram, you can mention something in your YouTube description, but email is the most direct way you can get in contact with someone. And for anybody out there who says this, email is dead, bro. It's not going to work. I'm really not going to say anything other than it is literally my job to write emails for the heat agency clients. So if you email didn't work, I'd be out of a job. And seriously, if email didn't work, open your email right now in a new tab. Why would you get so many emails of people trying to sell you stuff or get you to open their email in general? And this is where we're gonna get into our first point for today's video. If you really want to get the most out of a sales campaign, you will need to be active before you start running the sales campaign. This is why you have heard us preach about sending weekly emails where you're just giving a soft call to action to check out your new beats. And these are the reasons. Your email may end up in the spam folder because you've never sent any emails before until now. So if you have a list from a year ago, those people probably don't remember you and they probably won't open, which will lead to a low open rate right off the bat and email inboxes do not like that. But vice versa, if you're sending out emails every week, those people will be keeping up with you and be active with you. This is also why having automations when people join your list is really huge, so that way you can get those first few opens right away. So here's the thing, right? If you've been doing automations and campaigns, you've been constantly getting artists back to your beat store, so that way when you run a sale, they may have five or six beats they're actually interested in. And because you're running a sale, there's never been a better time to load up on those beats and save big. I know this may seem overly simplistic, but that really is the big picture here. By getting people to open, click, or even respond to those emails, that all helps your deliverability and getting higher open rates. So if you think about it, it's basically one big flywheel where by being active, you'll have way more success in the long run. Okay, so that was just some general General notes, but let's get to the part of what do these emails actually look like? Well, the first thing I want to tell you that they shouldn't look like this. What you're going to have to do is at least put some effort into these sales emails. For example, here's some of the screenshots of emails we gave to the Soundy launch program for a recent Halloween sale. As you can see, we're not writing paragraphs, but we're also not just saying sale by now 30% off. Really, this is something hard to explain without having to write out the emails themselves. So if you really want to learn this, sign up for the live stream where I'll show you me writing all the emails. But enough of the bigger picture stuff, let's get into the part about actually setting this up. The first thing we have to cover is what you will be offering. And for this, there are two simple rules. Make it a no-brainer offer and make it easy. So here is what not to do that breaks those rules. 20% off for Black Friday. Boo, that is just such a low discount and not exciting at all. That boo sounded very weird. Or something like spend 100 and I'll give you free mixing. It sounds good, but that brings up a bunch of questions an artist may have that might stop them. How does that even work? What's your timeline for getting the mixing back to me? Are you even good at mixing? Where can I hear your examples? So here's the easiest thing you can do that we're gonna do, 60% off. And you may be thinking, but Ryan, 60% off? Yes, it's a no-brainer, because if you're worried that's too big of a discount, that's the perfect Black Friday discount then. Because I'm telling you, that would be a no-brainer deal for artists. Now, you may be thinking, well, with 60% off, 
will I make any money? Obviously, if you have four people on your email list, there's not much you can make, but do not associate that with email marketing doesn't work. All of it is dependent on the size of your list, but here's what usually happens. Because you're giving such an amazing discount, there are so many orders that are going to come in. Remember, it's a no brainer discount for every artist. And even though they're spending less, there's so many more orders that you are still gonna make more money. A perfect example of this is the end of summer sale we did last year for three producers that we documented on the channel. I highly recommend watching that, even after watching this one, just to learn more about the whole selling process with email marketing. Next up, we have urgency. So this is basically, we need to create a timeline of when does this start, and when does this end? Major key here for you guys, I really wouldn't make this any longer than about 10 days or so. Black Friday sales could definitely go on for a bit longer, but odds are you're not that experienced in email marketing, so trying to find enough angles or variations of email you're just gonna beat somebody over the head with sales emails and it's just not gonna work out the best for you. It's gonna be going on for too long. Also, if you make your end date too far away, there's no urgency. Imagine if I said, I'll be doing a training next year, sign up today. You wouldn't feel the need to sign up. It is a whole year away. Next up, we have those 10 days that we have to fill out with different email angles. So I'm gonna go ahead and send it over to Computer Ryan. Now, while all that was pretty much hypothetical and this video was just more of the general overlooking information, if you really wanna see me get my hands dirty and build out a complete campaign from scratch, sign up in the description to watch the free live stream for next week. And like I said, if you wanna learn more about running a sales campaign, watch this video right here. We made three producers over $9,000 in a little bit of 10 days. Peace out.